James. Uganda. Genau. Und wir sind zum Beispiel die Sprecher von Billy bzw. Lord Ignaz aka Mr. Lordi und Odi. Genau. Und wir beide, wir wünschen euch jetzt ganz, ganz viel Spaß bei Monsterican 3, auch besser bekannt unter dem Titel The Monsterican Universe, das Universum der Monster. Viel Spaß, wir sehen uns. Good evening, my dears. It's me, Lord Ignatz. Welcome here at Castle Wiperstone. I'm pleased to once again tell you the stories of the old days. Yes, I know. I look a bit different now. How it comes? Well... I will tell you about that later. Today I am going to tell you how things ended with the children Billy and Lissy, but also with the monsters Vampire Vincent, Zombie Thomas, Witch Grace and she Wolf Veronica in the Skull Forest. But their end was my beginning. But let's start this evening with the story of April the 30th, 1945, in the Berlin Führer Bunker at 3 o'clock on p.m.
My Führer, Fräulein Hitler, is there anything else what I can do for you? No, you can go now. Lock the door tightly behind you. Don't let anyone else come in and only open the door again after you've heard shoots from inside. Do you remember what is to be done? with the bodies of my wife and me? Yes, my Führer. Everything will be done according to your wishes. Heil Hitler! It's almost time, Eva. I want to make one last attempt to achieve the final victory. If it doesn't work, we can always consult Plan B. Please go over there. I don't know what's about to happen. But I do. Eva, it's enough. It's good. Now please go over and close the door behind you. I'll be right there. Yes, I do. So, now I am alone and I want to make my last attempt. It's strange that a small book of magical powers could have such a tremendous impact. This Emil Greenbaum, who got me the book, seems to believe in the final victory like me. Let's see if the book lives up to what I promises. Apparently I only have to speak the respective spell clearly and distinctly. The book which once belonged to a witch named Grace tells of a superhuman and powerful haunt being with tremendous powers. I believe this is be what I need. Then I recite the magic spell. In Santum X Audite me, citatus asedas, conventene hoc quod precipio tibi. Almighty, you are the demon who will bring me the final victory. What is your name? I'm known as Lord Ignat, but I'm better known by a completely different name. And what be your completely different name? Mr. Lordy. Good. Then I command you. You commanded me? Oh no. You don't give me orders. You will never command anyone again. You have already brought enough misfortune upon the world. It's over now. Oh no, 
other. Now the time has come. The Führer and his wife committed suicide. It couldn't have been otherwise. After all, there is no one else in the room. Well, what is that for a weird looking book on the floor? Strange, but that's how it's written. <laughs> the Nazi officer took the magic book. Some days later he sold it to a collector of occult and cryptozoological artifacts whose name was Damian Schneider. Since this day had no one heard of the book. But as powerful as the book is, it will surely come back. A few months ago I noticed a blue full moon in the sky one night. A blue full moon on a Friday the 13th. That didn't bode well. Hell had opened and I only had a certain amount of time to close the gates of hell again. This task was entrusted to me and I was the only one who could do it. But I also knew that I couldn't do it alone. I needed a plan and I needed help. After much deliberation, it occurred to me that a very powerful force emerged from music. But who would fight evil throw music with a monster like me? Right, other monsters. So I made my way to Skyward Village. Because in the old house of Uncle Lucy, the uncle of the children Billy and Lissy, it was still haunted, especially in the cellar, namely the undead and becursed pharaoh Amen Ra. Amenra appear to me. I have an errand for you, then your wanderings will no longer be meaningless. Here I am. You are not a human. Who and what are you? You can call me Lordy. I'm a demonic health troll. I'm born to kill the world's evil and throw the power of music. Very pleasant. Then you can call me Amen. Amelino? <laughs> no, Amen. So well, Amen. You want to kill the world's evil with me? With music too? A daring plan, but it could work. And through his good deed, I could someday find salvation too. Earth's compensation for my evil deeds. 
That means you would help me. Can you even play a musical instrument? Yes, I will help you, Lordy. And yes, I can play an instrument. The guitar. Very good. Then you will play the guitar in my group. Amen. Fine. And what happens now? A music group needs a keyboard too. A keyboard? What is that? Oh, sorry. A keyboard is a kind of electric pi pi piano. An electric piano? What is that? A piano? Okay, now it's getting difficult. A piano is... Uh, well... Um, Don't worry, I was just kidding you. Of course! I know what a piano is. I had enough time to get to know all sorts of things. And that's how I know which monster would be an ideal choice for your band on keyboards. And who? The Undead Valkyrie, Lady Avery. An Undead Valkyrie? Sounds good. Please tell me more about her. The Undead Valkyrie Avery is the daughter and empress of Mount Solos in the realm of the gods. Her identity is the biggest secret but I know little about them. Her birthplace is here, the underworld of the god of Asgard. Her mother is the eponymous goddess here, who rules over the realm of the dead. Her grandfather is the god Loki. Nothing is known about her father. However, her paternal guardian is god Odin. Henry himself will never be allowed to marry. Her home is Mount Sorrow, but she is also drawn to Earth as it is a very different world. When Henry was young, Goddess Hill disguised her daughter in the skin of the dead souls and cast a spell upon her that prevented any mortal in the God of Asgard from seeing in every true soul. He sent her daughter in disguise to Odin. The young Valkyrie was supposed to spy on the god and descendants. His plan was to use a Nary as a tool to get Odin's bravest warrior to her. Through becoming even more powerful and making Odin vulnerable. Enemy become a full-fledged Valkyrie to a female spirit. The word Valkyrie comes from the old Norwegian language and means chosen butcher. The Valkyries bring the deceased warriors to Odin in Valhalla after the final battles. Odin needs the warrior for the apocalyptic battle called Ragnarok. Henry was the most aggressive of all Valkyries, sometimes interfering in human battles himself to make sure the right warriors died. His plot against Odin was revealed when Henry's grandfather Loki saw through her magic. Loki was actually the son of an ice giant, but Odin had adopted him at the time. So Loki felt obliged to tell him everything he had saw. Odin then ripped the skin of Enery's face with his bare hands and threw her out of Asgard. Enery had to guard my keyboard since that incident. This is the dimension between the worlds. In between where Enery Gathered all her powers, she managed to come to Earth to fetch new deceased warriors for Odin's army. 
However, the power is not great enough to rival Odin. Anyone who thinks Eder is unarmed is wrong. Because he has a magic which now is fought. This fort is flawless and hits its target every time. Fought by the dwarf of Spark Alfheim, it was an enchantment gift from Four to Henry. Henry was allowed to keep the sword, but only forbade her forever marrying Four or any other god. Despite her rudeness, during her visit to Earth, she learned to appreciate and love the delicate sounds of the piano. Henry soul was taken by his music that she fought herself how to play the piano and through the music tries to forget her dreamy life every day a little. An impressive story. Thank you very much, Eamon. So, Henry is still under Odin's care on Mount Kivu in the underworld? Yes, Lori, it is. With her by your side, you would already have two gods by your side. After all, as Pharaoh, I am godlike. That's right. Alright then. Then I will try to negotiate with Odin. Maybe he will get Henry free. And you, Eamon, go to the middle point of the Sky Forest. We will meet us again there as soon as possible. Alright, Lori, but how do you want to get into the God State? I have power too, and with this I can travel for space and time, also to the Underworld and the God State too. Well then, good luck and see you soon. So, here is the God State. Not bad. No wonder, here is Odin's palace. All I have to do is to find Odin now. Stop! Not, Not a step, step further. further. Who are you? And what do you want? You are no God. My name is Mr. Lordy. I'm not a God. But I still have superhuman powers. I'm looking for Odin, the father of the gods, and I want to make a deal with him. I'm Odin, but I have no interest in making a deal with an intruder. Well, not. It's about saving the world. Is that so? And what do you need for that? The Valkyria Ennery. And what's in it for me? What do you think of the following proposal, Great Odin? Hello, my dear. You must be Ennery, right? That's right. And who are you? What are you doing here? 
And what do you want from me? I'm Lord Ignatz, but you can call me Lordy. That's my nickname. I'm here because I heard about your power and talent, Emery. Yes, I have power. But talent? But talent. I heard that you can play the piano. Would you also dare to play a kind of electric piano? So, a keyboard? I would love to have you in my monster band to protect the earth from hell with you. With monstrously strong music. It will be a battle from monsters against the forces of evil. What do you say? That sounds great and I'd love to go, but I can't. How am I supposed to leave Mount Kibu? That's only possible if I bring the Keys Warriors here from Earth for Odin. For a musical career, I will need Odin's permission. And these I will never get. Odin is too disappointed in me for that. You are my actions in the past. I know everything and have spoken to Odin. I was able to strike a deal with him and he agreed that you could go with me, if you want. Really? That's fantastic! But what began did you make? That remains my secret for the time being. Alright, so I'm really in your monster band now. And can I really go with you, Lordy? Of course you can come with me. But whether you really fit into my band remains to be seen. First I want to hear you play music before I decide. Also, I still have to look for a bassist. But as far as I know, Amen, he's got another good idea. Can we go now? All right. Now, who's Eamon? Or whatever. I will definitely get to know him soon. And where are we going now? Into a forest, which you should already know. Into the Skull Forest. And so, I already had Lady Anary and Mr. Eamon in my monster band. What does all this have to do with Billy and Lissy? Well, well, we will get to that later. But before that, in another galaxy far away from Earth, on an alien planet, a completely different story happened. A very important story to understand everything which is why I'm telling it to you now. The story of the alien brothers G-Stealer and Keter, as well as the undead cyborg Mr. Magnum.
What shall I do? When our parents were still alive, everything would be much more easier. I have to do something to make sure that I've paid all of the debts by next month. But what if I can't find a job? I would like to be a trader, but I have not talent for that. If only I knew what my talent is. I know my brother's talent. He's perfect at exchanging old bad genes for better ones, or new ones, and trading them. It doesn't bring much money, but it's better than nothing. If he only wouldn't be so lazy. My little G replacer. When will he ever get sane and stop being so childish? Really? Not again. Has Judy place a look to the clock? This boy. I'm worried about our existence. And my brother is playing his bass guitar instead of working. Well, no one would tell him what is going on. I've never 
just to sell audience for you ones. Just to get some coins for it. You can only make big money with fresh blue jeans anyway. But we can afford fresh blue jeans. You know yourself that they uh, are so expensive. Look at me. I also have a musical talent. I'm good in drumming. But instead of playing, I just leave it untouched in my room and look for suitable work somewhere every day. Now get ready and trade jeans. You remember what our father used to say to you? Don't you? Yes, I remember that. My name is Manishin, but my jeans. End of discussion. Our conversation is over now. Close the door when you leave, and I see you tonight. I'm going to District Omega today. Maybe someone there has some work for me. Okay, Kira. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks, you too. Make you more 
money than you don't know. And yes, that's exactly how it is. I have to go now, but I can give you my number. Here, don't lose the card and don't show it to anyone. If you are interested in this kind of business, contact me. I might know where you could deal to jeans. I the best to you and maybe see you soon. Thanks, you two! That was a strange guy, but maybe he's right. Maybe I should really rename myself to T-Stealer. Then Kita and I wouldn't have to worry so much about money problems. I think I go home now and think about this strange offer. I kept thinking about it all the way home. Maybe this really is the path the universe intended for me. Alright, I do it. Then I call this strange gentleman. Hello, who's speaking? Hello! You talked earlier, and you gave me your number. It's me, Gene Blazer. Who's speaking? Gene Blazer. Uh, I mean, Gene Stealer. Here's Gene Stealer speaking. Ah, that sounds better. Nice to hear from you. You know that you can call me Big Eyes, right? I knew, right? Away that you were a smart alien. Listen, do you know the disused factory site in this trade data? Yes, I know. Good, we will meet there at gate 13 to 9 at 10 o'clock. Come along and don't tell anyone about this meeting. You will find out everything else tonight. Alright! I'll see you tonight! But if I have a different name now, I should also change my outfit a bit. I should probably look a lot wider and more dangerous now. Now I'm going to put all my strength for LG Pesa and LG Stealer. Since last night, but this weird guy 
is chasing after me all the time. I think a sign or something like that. Are you completely crazy? Just for the damn money? You should know what it means to steal a noble jeans death penalty. You can't stay here any longer. You have to go. You have decided now on your new name. And you can't stay longer here. You're not safe at this place. Gisela. You must leave as soon as possible. Take past our UFO which is on the back of the house. It should still fly. It would be best if you fly to one of our neighbor planets and still hide there. Good idea would be to UFO, but I'm sending cross for Earth. Nothing but a death can happen to me if I catch me. Good. If you think so, come. I'll bring you to the UFO. Hello? Oh my god, you mean in the name of the galaxy government? Oh shit! They found me! Where is the map? They must have followed you to be able to find your own. It's best go out to buy the back door. Come on, fast. Go, brother. I try to give you some time. Thanks, you know! Be with me again, promise! Last chance. Otherwise, I will kick off of the door. I'll be right there. One moment, please. I just put something on quickly. Christina, get out of here. It was a theft last night. The deputy thief ran into this house. I don't know any furtive thief. Do you perhaps have a name for me, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? My name is Mango. Officially certified cyber of the city. The feeling thief went by the name of Geoplacer, but has recently gone by the name of G Stealer. Sides look like him, you must be his brother Peter. Isn't that so? Yes, right. The person you're looking for is my brother. But I didn't see him. I just was under the shower. Maybe he's in his room. Please come in. Many thanks. Very kind. The one day he wasn't in his room. Then I guess I can do something for you. What's in that noise? I don't have any idea. Maybe the neighbors know more? I don't think so. I was track and shoot him immediately. It's good that I'm 
Kita barely survived and looked around. There were no bodies to be found anywhere, but Kita believed G. Stila and Magnum had been burned alive by the heat waves inside of the UFOs. Not knowing how quickly people would show up who could have seen the crash, Kita decided to hide in the dense woods for the time being. The bright lights of the crashed UFOs could be seen throughout the skull forest. There, in the hut of monsters, which graced Vampire Vincent, Zombie Thomas, and she Wolf Veronica were gathered around the boy Billy. Can all just be a nightmare? You can't have been brought back to life after being killed. I have to imagine everything here. No, that's reality. You are now one of us. Because of the blending of the mysterious powers of the sky forest and the blue full moon. You must now decide what you want to be, Billy. A witch, a zombie, a werewolf, or a vampire. But before we start, Vincent, Veronica and I will take some life energy from you to be able to look better again. Sweet little Billy, I realize that you are just a human. You've come so far and still failed. Why did you want us to die so badly? Just because we killed your family? The Sky Forest needs monsters always. Other monsters would have to show up and fight versus us to defeat us. Only then we could no longer exist. Exactly, but nobody would be so stupid because then these monsters would have to take our place. No, get up, Billy, before I decide to eat you like your sister and the others. A decision that lasts forever requires careful consideration. By the way, I can't think straight because my sister's bloody remains lying around here. Alright, I don't know if you mean what you said or just said it to win time. But that you can see that we monsters aren't heartless, I want to give you the opportunity to bury your sister's remains. You get a half an hour for it, 
but you won't go alone. Our zombie Thomas will accompany you. Exactly. So we can make sure that you won't try to run away. You will get a soul. And Thomas will give you an old bag. That's where you will put Lizzie's body remains in and then you carry them at um yeah where the best place will be. Billy and Thomas are going to the middle. What kind of middle does Thomas mean? Thomas means the clearing which is 10 minutes away from here. There, where is the small cemetery? There you also have the best observation post to see a full moon. There is so much loose soil, a perfect place to bury someone, or at least part of someone. By the way, Lizzie wouldn't be the first to be buried in the small ancient cemetery one corpse more or less doesn't attract attention anyway. Alright then. Afterwards, Billy and Thomas set out to bury Lizzie's remains in the clearing.
Then they got their billy, put down the body back, and dug a grave with the shovel. My beloved sister, you're not supposed to spend eternity in a stinking body bag. I will miss you. I'm so sorry that I wasn't there right in time to save you. Rest in peace. And here, I had something in my jacket pocket. Your beloved doll, I will enclose that with you. Billy couldn't have done anything to save his sister. Monsters are always stronger than humans. Has Billy decided what kind of monster Billy wants to be? No, I haven't yet. What disadvantages do your monsters have? Thomas as a zombie is constantly decomposing and has a stinky body in addition. Thomas can no longer speak and think properly. By grace, she is a witch and her skin always cracks or scratches out. Her eyes are bad and she has painful words. By Veronica as a werewolf, she has always under and muscle pain and fleas. She is in severing pain, especially during her transformation into a she werewolf. And Vincent as a vampire is endlessly tired and irritable, has bad breath and cramps in his fingers. So actually everything is shit. Billy has a choice between shit or a lot of shit. Shit what I should do. Billy takes the bag and shovel and goes back to the hut of the monster with Thomas. Thomas, you are the most sensible monster. Please let me escape and I promise to never come back in this forest. I don't want to become a monster. Please help me. That's not possible. Billy seems like a nice boy, but if Thomas lets Billy go, Thomas will be severely punished. And Thomas cannot escape from the forest, so Billy is coming with Thomas now. Okay. Thomas doesn't want to force Billy. Alright, I have understood. Then let's go back. What was that? That's another monster. 
monsters from outside your world. They fly with strange objects and are very powerful. You mean that was an alien in a UFO? Yes, tonight three UFOs fall from the heaven to earth. They came back and now again very strange. Shall we have a look? I would rather not. Way too dangerous. Come on now. I still have to pee. I will be right back. You can go back to the hut. Okay, see you soon. Ha! Now I have finally been able to trick him. This is my change. I have to get out of the forest. That's the only way how I can possibly survive. Where I have to go now? Maybe it's enough to hide here somewhere and look for a way out when the sun comes up again in a few hours. Thomas, but where did you leave Billy? He will be right here. He is peeing right now. Peeing? You insane twat. Stop it. That's not the way you talk about or my son. What else should I say to him, Grace? There aren't many children in this area. We can extract a lot of energy from children, especially when we transform them. And your clever son, Thomas, let a child escape. Where are we supposed to get another child so quickly? Do any of you actually know what those strange lights in the sky mean? They were landed monsters from space. What was that? Other monsters? It just keeps getting better. Then, if we are unlucky, we'll have to get ready soon. Get ready? For what? This forest isn't big enough for new and old monsters. Either the new monsters will go, or we will. And? If we have to go, it's the end for all of us. Monsters live of the energy of Sky Forest. Our group will turn to dust. We can continue to discuss here in the hut and wait for our end. Or we go and look for Billy now. Especially when there are new monsters in the Sky Forest, we need his energy. I hate to admit it, Veronica, but you're right. Let's go. Let's do what we do best. Hunting. And how did it go now? Well, I will tell you that next time. Don't worry, we will see each other again sooner than you can imagine. Well then, good night. I'm going 
gonna rise then the daylight slow All dressed to kill and all systems go You'll be starring on my late night show Sure you can run but you'll be too slow I need to tell you that I told you so Well that's a lie but I know you know After stroke of midnight it's a hunting season I go an extinct and I need no reason I'm driving crazy but the scand of prey But I won't let you get away Why the up in it and I'm hungry for meat I constrict and bite Non-stop night When the carnivore is sinking things in your flesh Say bye bye light Non-stop night I have to quit because the sun comes up That's the good news for you know, guess what? I bought a door so never window shot I smash the clocks and the time will freeze Break out the neutral, keep you on your knees I will have fun for eternity After stroke of midnight it's a hunting season I go an extinct and I need no reason I'm driving crazy but the scand of prey But I won't let you get away I'm a serpent in heat and I'm hungry for meat I constrict and bite Non-stop night When the carnivore is sinking facts in your flesh Say bye bye light Non-stop night I'm a serpent in heat and I hunger for meat I constrict and bite Non-stop night Well the carnivore is sinking facts in your flesh Say bye bye light Non-stop night well, I'm a serpent in heat and I hunger for meat I constrict and bite Non-stop night Well the carnivore is sinking facts in your flesh Say bye bye light Non-stop night Hey guys, you always stay to the end too, right? <laughs> well then, you should now be rewarded. The observant fans among will have noticed that Billy was able to bury his sister's remains even through they were eaten by the monsters. How could that be? By reviving the Skull Forest monsters the entire contents of their stomachs come out of them. This allowed Billy to bury Lizzie. So, that's it for today. See you soon.